change. Change is something happening all the time in our world and our universe. Change is something that is happening whether we like it or not. Whether it be change at an atomic level, the movement of the tides, or even cultural change. Now I, as a pessimist, a nostalgic, and an angry hipster nerd, usually only see the bad things about change. Such as the change from the brilliant television shows of the early to mid-2000s, like Buffy the Vampire Slayer, you know, The Sopranos and The West Wing, to shit like Keeping Up With Kardashians and The Jersey Shore. Or else you would change from actual good music, like Led Zeppelin, Queen and The Clash, to whatever it is that Nicki Minaj does. But one time where I do see a positive in change is when I see work being done by Professor Richard Dawkins. Professor Dawkins first came to prominence in the world outside of the scientific community in 1976 with his first book on evolution, The Selfish Gene. He has released ten more books since then, including the excellent atheistic manifesto The God Delusion, published in 2006. Dawkins is very well known for his views on religion, and spent the last decade or so completely devoted to the dual purpose of spreading awareness of and giving some real credibility to atheism, and educating people on what he believes are the evils of religion. In 2007, he had wrote and presented an hour and a half documentary entitled The Root of All Evil, referring, of course, to religion. In the documentary, he talked to many religious extremists, including the secretly gay creationist megapastor Ted Haggard, who shouted at Dawkins for saying that people are pretty much the same as chimps and bonobos. He talked to a principal of a London faith school who believed that the story of Noah's Ark actually happened and was relevant to the children's scientific education. And he talked to a rabbi, Herschel Gluck, the principal of an Orthodox Jewish school in London, a man who lived in a community so closed off to any outside influences that even though he had never left London, he had a thick Israeli accent. As an evolutionary biologist, Dawkins has an extremely negative view of creationism. In fact, he has refused on several occasions to engage in debate with members of the Younger Creationist movement, because he says that what the movement seeks is the oxygen of credibility, and he believes that anyone who engages in debate with them is doing just that. Dawkins was asked about it once at a conference, and said, I, as an evolutionary biologist, engaging in debate with a creationist would be like, say, a, ge a geographer engaging in debate with a flat earther, or a reproductive biologist engaging in debate with an advocate of stork theory. Dawkins is different from a lot of people who engage in debate with the crazy fundamentalists of this world, because most of the people who do it do it because they just want to have a go at religion. Dawkins does it because he believes that people should take a rational, scientific, and well-informed approach to their lives, instead of basing their morals and ideas about how the world should be run from historically inaccurate books from thousands of years ago, written by a group of Mostly illiterate xenophobic misogynists living in a desert writing books about a schizophrenic rabbi and his dad, an all-powerful god who is in reality, as Dawkins puts it, the single most unpleasant character in all of fiction, jealous and proud of it, a petty, unjust, unforgiving control freak, a vindictive, bloodthirsty ethnic cleanser, a misogynistic, homophobic, racist, infanticidal, genocidal, filicidal, pestilential, megalomaniacal, sadomasochistic, Capriciously malevolent bully. But really, all religion bashing aside, all that Dawkins wants is for people to be inquisitive, to find out what things are and why they are. Not to be content with not knowing, as religion teaches us, but to think, to really think, in order to benefit both humanity and the world.